Form 7 is one of the most widely used contact form in WordPress websites. You can see it can be used to manage multiple contact forms, plus you can customize the form and the mail contents flexibly with simple markup. So it was it is one of the most widely used contact form in the WordPress websites. Eh? So this is the contact form website where you can get the contact form 7. So it's a form that used to create a contact form uh, in WordPress, widely used in WordPress uh, websites. Like this, I have a demo website here. And if I go to the contact, I have a contact form here. And suppose I want to send an email using my contact form. Then I click submit. <coughs> This error may occur. There was an error trying to send your message. Please try again. So this is one of the most common error that you may experience when you try to use a contact form, uh, contact form seven in WordPress uh, websites. So you have created your form using contact form, but when you try to send an email, you experience this error. There was an error trying to send your message Please try again later. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a WordPress plugin to avoid this error and send the email without any difficulties using the contact form. Seven. Once you create a, your contact form in WordPress and uh, you find uh, difficulties sending uh, an email. Or, sending, uh, or submitting your form and you find an error, you can use this plugin to, to avoid such an error in your form. And that plugin is called uh, Easy WP SMTP. This plugin allows you to configure and send all outgoing email via an STM. SMTP server. This will prevent your email from going into junk spam folder of the recipient. <coughs> Some of the features include you can send email using STP, SMTP server, so use Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail, SMTP server. You can connect your WordPress with a mail server to handle all the outgoing email. It is as if the email has been composed inside your mail account. And this is what we are going to do. Since uh, we are experiencing an error trying to send an email, we can try to do this. Eh? And it can securely deliver all emails to your system. So these are some of the great uh, features and advantages of Easy WordPress SMTP WordPress plugin. So we go ahead and upload the plugin once you download the plugin you install the plugin in your wordpress website you add new Root. Then you choose your plugin. Then you install. Plugin have been installed successfully. And then you activate the plugins. There you go. And the plugin is 
under the tools menu sorry you go to the settings menu there you find the easy wordpress smtp plugin Here we go. In the SMTP settings, here you configure your setting. You add all your settings from the email address, the email address you wanted. Uh, this email address will be used in the from field. And then from the name, the name you want to appear in your mail, this text will be used in the from field. This one is optional, reply to email, this one is optional. BCC copy is optional also. SMTP host, this is the host of the email you are going to use. You put it there. You type the host of the email you are going to use. The type of encryption, it can be either SSL, TLSL, put there. And then you put the SMTP port. That is the port uh, of your SMTP server. Right? Then you put the authentication. You say yes. S SMTP username. You put the email there. And also now you put the password. Password of the email. And then you save the changes. There are some additional settings there. You may, if you want to learn. But you can actually test your emails. So you put the email where you want to test your email. Put the test. And then you set the test mail. You see now if your name, and there you can see test email was a circuit set. No errors occurred during this process. Then you can go to your email. There you see. You can see here WordPress training, no reply. The email you put there, name, there it is. Here on the STP setting from the email address. If you go here in the ECFTP, you can see here this point here that this plugin seamlessly connect your WordPress blog with the mail server to handle all outgoing email. It is as if the email has been composed inside your mail. Account. So this is the email we have added there. This is the email we have added there. So you can put any emails as you can see here from this uh, plugin. You can add a Gmail account, a hook account. Then you can add a Hotmail account. Eh? Yeah. Uh, if you check here, all you need if it is a a Gmail account, you need to add the SMTP host for Gmail account there. And then uh, the SMTP port for the Gmail account. So you can just simply Google, for example, for Gmail. There you go. Get the SMTP for the Gmail and the port, the SSL port. And also now you can use your Gmail account send email. So let's go back to our website and see whether our email will actually work. Go to the contact. Add our details here. Then we submit. Yeah. Open. There you go. Thank you. You are thank you for your message. It said, and then you can see there there is no error anymore. Let us now try if now the form will send the emails. Act form. Okay. 
test. Let me submit. Let's see if now we got the error. I'm going to see the error. Uh, message have been sent. Thank you for a message sent. You can see you already have the email. Half email we have tested and now receive the email. So actually that's how you can remove, do away with such an error if you are using, using a contact form 7 in WordPress. So you can use this easy WordPress SMTP plugin and it has all these features and settings that you can change in your contact form to enable you to set all the emails without any error or a difficulty. So once you install the plugin, it's under the settings. It's say WordPress SMTP. Then you add the settings for SMTP. The most important setting is from the email address. The email address you want to set from. Want we want it to appear from the name you want to appear in the mail from the mail. As you can see here, we have written WordPress training. That's why we have WordPress WordPress training. Yeah, we have WordPress training, test WordPress training. And then the most important one is SMTP host server, the host. So if you're using a Gmail, you add the Gmail host. If you're using Yahoo, Yahoo host, Hotmail, Yahoo host, and it's very important to add the encryption, the QR encryption. Also confirm the SMTP port of the mail you're using. And again, the mail you're using, the username and the password you actually use to access the SMTP server. Add it there and then you save them. Before you try it in your WordPress, you can test the email if the email is working. Test it in the settings. Once it is working now, and go ahead in your WordPress website and try now to set the, the contact form. The code. That's all for this video. I'll see you next time. Thank you.